9000 series tanks have cameras integrated into them. To enable them, go to System Features Console and click on the Camera tab and select Enable and then the green check. Once you've done that, you'll notice to the right on the second line there is a Cameras tab now visible. So select Cameras and then you can open up the General tab for General Settings. In the General tab you can set up the name for each of Camera 1 and 2, Tank 5 and Rear View. You don't use color coding or egg cam interface. Under the camera visible we can have either hide or showing a camera and then camera loop can either be enable, enabled or disabled. Enable just lets it loop between one camera to the next. The adjust tab is next. Under it you will see mirrored display. If the camera is displaying in the improper orientation by enabling this, it will switch that orientation. The default tab, camera loop time, is to set the time interval for cycling through the camera channels. Thumbnail frame rate sets the default capture rate. Default is 10. Default Color coding sets the color system affecting image quality. Default is PAL. And camera ribbon enables a ribbon under the camera view to see other camera channels and you're able to scroll through them. Now that the cameras are set up, you can hit the running man to go back to the main operating page. On the left side of the screen, there will now be a camera icon. If you touch on that camera icon, you'll get a mini view come out on the left side. You can slide that across to the large view. It'll give you the two cameras at the bottom and then one of the cameras in a larger view at the top. By touching on the main screen, you can scroll between those two images. By pressing on the arrow right or arrow left, by pressing on the camera button, you will get a drop down menu and you can select camera one, camera two, or camera loop. We'll now have a look at the components of the camera system starting at the tractor cab. So there will be a six inch harness that comes in the cab components that screws into the back of the X35 monitor, threaded on one end and snap connector on the other. The connections on the back of the X35, once you take the caps, the removable caps out, camera one will display on the left side of the screen as it's facing down. Camera two will be on the right side of the screen with the monitor facing down. The remaining harnesses in the system, two, three, four, five, and six, are just varying lengths with the snap or push together ASA connectors that are just used in combination to get the length you need to the various implement sizes.